Hi, I'm going to show you the relationship between, of course, our E, since we've been talking about standard reduction potential, and this is really cool, the equilibrium constant, kind of neat. Um, now, you've seen this a couple of times in the videos, the relationship um, where we could just look at signs or values and be able to predict um, K or E. Um, just a little reminder that if the equilibrium is greater than one, that's product favored, and that means that E is going to be a positive value, both spontaneous, and so the reverse is also true. If K is less than one, that's reactant favored, uh, which means that we've got a negative E, uh, and that the um, potential is going to require energy. A uh, little attachment to this, remember, that means that you've got a negative delta G, and here would be a positive delta G. This would be non-spontaneous, that's spontaneous. Maybe I'll write that. This is going to be your spontaneous one, and then this scenario is your non-spontaneous. Okay, and you're going to see it in this formula right here. So let's label everything, make sure you understand everything. That K is going to be the equilibrium expression, and remember, excuse me, equilibrium constant, and remember, the constant is unit less. There's no units on that. Um, it is simply constant. It is simply the ratio of products over reactants when the reaction hits that beautiful equilibrium. Forward rate equals reverse rate. The um, reactant and product are constant. Um, and so you take the reactant, or excuse me, products over reactants. That gives you a ratio of the concentrations of um, product over reactant at that beautiful equilibrium. Okay, um, and now this is really important. This is going to be the moles of electrons gained or lost. You could also say the number of the moles of electrons transferred. How many electrons are transferred? So total, what was the number of electrons that were lost? That's this, the same number of electrons that are gained. Um, and then E naught, of course, this is going to be our standard reduction potential. And you'll recall that not right there means it's standard conditions. Reduction potential and, um, oops, potential. Remember, potential, con or excuse me, standard conditions are going to be your 25 degrees C, one bar, and one molar concentrations, okay? So when we are at standard conditions, what is the voltage? What's the potential uh, for that particular uh, cell? Okay, this uh, formula right here is when you are indeed at the 25 degrees C. Okay, um, so I have an example for you. We are going to have um, iron solid react with the um, cadmium ion to produce the iron ion and the cadmium solid. Uh, so, <coughs> excuse me, I liked up to two half reactions. First thing that we've got to do is find E naught because I want to um, find K. We want to determine K, uh, which means I need that standard reduction potential. Um, so this is going to be for a voltaic cell. Remember, we want the largest positive value possible. If it's an electrolytic, we want the largest negative value possible. So this is voltaic, also called galvanic. Um, our little trick on this is you find the most negative number and you flip it, you change that to oxidation. Uh, so I'm going to flip this and we are going to have the iron um, yields, the iron ion plus the two electrons. So it's now written as oxidation, we're losing those two electrons. Um, now before I can add this up, I have to make sure that the electrons are equal to each other. Yeah. We're going to lose two electrons and gain two electrons. Those numbers are equal. Oh, I forgot something really important. When I flip this half reaction, what do I do to the sign? That becomes a positive. You just change the sign. You change the sign. You'll see in tech, textbooks that they say cathode minus the anode. I think that's confusing for students. Easy way to do it for a voltaic. You flip the uh, most negative number. And when you flip this reaction, you change that sign. Okay, let's go ahead and add it up. The two electrons, um, I have two on the reactant, two on the product, so those uh, cancel out. And that's the goal when we add the half reactions, that those numbers have to be equal. Um, one of our rules with balancing redox reactions. And here is our balance equation. And notice it matches, it matches. Now all we have to do is add the E values. So 
the potential for this electrochemical cell is going to be negative 0.4 plus a 0.44, so we're going to get a positive 0.04, and that's in volts. So now we can come up here and plug into this. So we have natural log of K equals Kn. What's my N? How many moles of electrons were transferred? Two. Here's a mistake the students will make. Sometimes they'll say four. Like, oh, well, you lost two and you gained two. Those are the same two electrons. So total, two electrons were transferred. Two were lost, and then those same two were gained. Um, so we're going to have two moles of electrons um, times our potential, 0 0.04 volts right here. And we're going to divide it by 0 0.0257. Oh, let's see here what number I got when I divided this. Um, we end up with a 3.1 equals natural log of K. There we have that. Um, now, this right here is going to um, involve a couple of constants, uh, gas constant, Faraday's constant. Um, trust me on this. Just know that those units cancel and you'll end up with something that's unit less and K is unit less. Now, a little reminder from algebra, how do we get rid of a natural log? How do we undo it? It's the E. I'm going to raise both sides to the E. So this is going to be E and E. Remember, um, the E will cancel out that natural log, undoes the natural log. It's just like the opposite of addition is subtraction. That's how you get rid of the natural log. So K, will equal e raised to the power of 3.1 and you'll put that into your calculator and when you put it into your calculator k will equal 20. k will equal 20 and check it out k is greater than 1 the e was positive um, so all is confirmed by the numbers that we saw of that positive e greater than 1 it's going to be voltaic it's going to be product favored it's going to be spontaneous kind of cool Okay, so there you have a, a really neat relationship between standard reduction potential and equilibrium constant. Um, I have lots of videos. If you need more on redox and electrochemistry, look under that redox playlist on my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.